entertainmentbuddha.com Hey now, Skylanders, Matt Haywood here from entertainmentbuddha.com to bring you a video review of Skylanders Superchargers, which is the latest entry in the franchise that started the whole movement of bringing action figures to life like never before. Each game in the franchise is added to the gameplay formula over time, and the latest addition to come to the Skylanders universe is no different. Just like Trap Team added the whole Trap Master and Totem mechanic last year, Superchargers brings vehicle-based gameplay to the mix, which adds a bit of variety to the tested formula. This time around, it's up to you and your band of Supercharger Skylanders to take on Chaos, who once again has messed with the inhabitants of the Skylands by capturing their esteemed leaders, Master Aeon, Flynn, Callie, and Hugo. I do have to say that as an adult, it's a bit tough to get immersed in a world meant for children, but thanks to the dialogue and colorful cast of characters, Supercharger's plot is somewhat entertaining even for an old crotchety man like myself. I credit most of this fact to the voice acting, which is top-notch, and very reminiscent of what you'd hear on a high-end Saturday morning cartoon series. Known them to be. So long, Poser Master. Forever! <laughs> the campaign itself takes you to a variety of worlds, all with their own unique visual style and theme. Each main world consists of traditional third-person action platforming gameplay, the new vehicle segments, and typically an end boss to defeat, which usually relies on your vehicle, but not every mission features that. Overall, the on-foot gameplay remains similar to the other Skylanders games, and doesn't take much skill to master, because this is a game targeted for kids after all. It definitely has a LEGO game feel thanks to the fact that it's nearly impossible to fail unless you run out of available figures to use, and considering that Superchargers works with all generations of Skylander figures, that won't be an issue for hardcore fans of the franchise. The biggest change to the gameplay formula is the inclusion of vehicle-based segments in each level. Throughout each campaign mission, you will come upon a medallion that features a cloud, a wave, or mountains, which account for the game's air, underwater, and ground-based vehicles, respectively. As long as you own the appropriate toy, you can place it on the portal with a Skylander to use in the game to explore the vehicle-based area of the mission. Luckily, you don't need to buy every type of vehicle to play through the game, as you only have to beat one of the vehicle segments to proceed to the next mission. I only had a ground-based vehicle to test, so I didn't get to tool around with the flying and underwater missions, which definitely cut some time out of the game's main campaign, which lasts around 6-8 to eight hours depending on how much exploring and loot searching you do. I found the driving sections to not feel crowbarred into the gameplay, but I have to say that the controls are not ideal, especially when you are presented with the game's side-to-side -side or top-down views. When in these views, controlling your whip becomes an exercise in frustration because at one moment pushing left on your thumbstick will steer you left, while the next it will steer you right. This wouldn't be a huge issue, but some of these moments occur during boss fights or puzzle segments, making them overly frustrating to play through. Now when the driving segments feature the Mario Kart viewpoint, things get much better. The controls feel normal and easy to use, and while in the racing mode it is quite fun to just hit the track and go. Overall I appreciate the new gameplay mechanic, but it could have been implemented much better with more refined controls for the different view perspectives. I do have a few gripes about Superchargers in general, which revolve around the visuals and the pace of play. First off, like Disney Infinity and other multi-platform games that support old hardware, the visuals aren't as crisp as they should be. I notice many jagged edges on environment outlines, and even worse ones on numbers that appear in the environment. It just didn't feel like a true current-gen title visually. I can get over a few poorly rendered visual assets, but it's hard to come to grips with how damn slow your characters move or drive. Walking is as fast as you can go when controlling your Skylander on foot, and it's a deliberate walk too. There is no run ability, so while navigating the home base, or working through a campaign mission, it's very hard not to feel a bit impatient with the speed of your character. Just give me a stinking run button so I can speed things along and get to the fun things about this game, like its puzzles and brawling. Driving isn't much better in terms of creating the illusion of speed. At best, the pace on the racing segments resembles Mario Kart's 50cc class, but I bet the vehicles are even slower than that. 
Maybe I'm just a bit too impatient with everything in life, but I literally rolled my eyes every time I had to take a long walk or complete a racetrack thanks to the fact that all of the characters and vehicles move like they're already AARP card carrying members. Skylander Superchargers is far from a bad game, it just features slower style gameplay than I prefer to play. With that being said, it's still a top notch game for kids or parents who want to enjoy gaming with their kids. Its story feels like one long Saturday morning cartoon episode thanks to the excellent voice acting, so it's fun to work through and doesn't offer much stress outside of the slow pace I described earlier. The vehicle based segments are a welcome addition to the gameplay formula, but beware of the controls because they can get a little wonky. For its offering, Skylander Superchargers earns a respectable 80 out of 100 Entertainment Buddha rating. If you have enjoyed the other games in the franchise, you will surely appreciate this one. Thanks for watching, this is Matt Haywood signing off for another EB video review. Make sure to visit our site on a daily basis to make sure you make yourself a better geek one post at a time. Thank you.